guys, we're going to make some epic New York style Thermomix bagels today. All we need for the perfect New York style bagels are just a few ingredients. We're going to need some yeast, we're going to need some malt syrup, which gives it this awesome flavor, water, flour, I use strong white bread flour, and some salt for the lovely flavor and crust. So let's get going and let's make some really lovely bagels. We're going to start by putting our water in and heat it up with our yeast. Remember always when you're making a Thermomix bread or any dough in Thermomix that you heat up your yeast first to 37 degrees because you want to make sure it's got a really nice ambient temperature. It bubbles really nicely and it feels really happy when that happens. I'm going to use dry active yeast for the bread dough that I'm making now because essentially this is a bread dough and I use dry active yeast. If you have fresh yeast at home, no problem at all, just double the quantity. And we're going to add in our key ingredient and that's our barley malt syrup. Barley malt syrup is what makes the bagel go around, I'll tell you that. So let's drop it in and warm it up and I'll see you on the other side. Now, all we need to do is add in our flour, and I use strong white bread flour because you want some really good flavor going on with this, and you want some really good structure. So we'll tip in our flour, we're gonna add in some salt, and that's all it takes to make the perfect bagel. Make sure you have enough salt in there, it's about a, a nice heaped teaspoon, because it's hard to weigh out about 10 grams in your Thermomix with salt. So just take a teaspoon instead and do a really nice heaped teaspoon. And all we need to do is knead it for two minutes, and then we're going to rest it for a little while and I'll show you how it looks once it's rested. So our dough has kneaded for about two minutes and this is what it looks like straight after it's come out. And I will actually just leave this in the bowl to improve for a good hour or so until it's almost doubled in size. And you can see, here's one I made earlier. This is what it should look like now. Amazing. Absolutely perfectly fluffy. That's exactly what we want for a really good bagel. So we're going to start by flouring our surface. So I'm just going to take some flour, dust it nicely, and then we're going to tip out our dough. Best way to do that is to just pop it upside down, release the bottom. Look at that dough. That's amazing. I'm going to cut this into 10 equal sized pieces, okay? So just make sure, if you're not 100% sure, you can pop back your mixing bowl and actually weigh those pieces on top of your mixing bowl so that you're 100% equal. But I'm just going to go by eye. I'm going to cut 10 equal sized pieces so that I can start shaping those in a second. Now you're going to take each of those pieces and you're just going to tuck it under a little bit like that and then you're going to take your fingers to sort of make a really nice tense ball and you're going to pop that ball as it is on your prepared tray make sure you line it with greaseproof paper first and then they're going to rest there for another 10 minutes covered with a tea towel and while that's happening we're going to put some water in our saucepan we're gonna add some caster sugar and we're gonna show you how to boil these bad boys to make proper bagels out of them. So our bagels have rested for about 10 minutes and this was called a pre-shape. Now we're actually gonna final shape these bagels and look at how nice they look. I'm gonna transport them over, wonderful. And there's two ways to now make a perfect bagel shape. Either you grab yourself a bagel, you're going to poke a hole in your with your finger, like that, and you're just going to widen it until it's nice and wide. Or roll it out by tucking it in, rolling it like that, taking these guys, these two ends, and then you take your fingers and sort of roll it back and forth until it's nicely rolled together. That's like the traditional way of shaping a bagel. And that's my Sophia style really easy way to shape a bagel. Totally up to you what you do. But once we've shaped these guys, we are going to rest them for another 10 minutes and then we're gonna boil them and bake them. And then they're gonna be super, super tasty. So here we are at our cooking station. I've preheated my oven to full 
whack and I've also boiled some water with a bit of sugar. Now we're going to take our bagels and we're going to pop them in probably two at a time for 20 seconds on each side. So let's pop them in just like that, popping in about two bagels at a time. I can actually probably fit three and we're going to count 20 seconds then we're going to flip them over another 20 seconds and then we're going to take them back out. The longer you cook them, the more chewy they'll get. So make sure not to do that for such a long time. Just before these bad boys go right into the oven, I'm just going to brush them with some egg whites. And this is the time where you could, if you wanted to, pop on some sesame seeds or some um, quinoa or whatever you really like and whatever you really fancy. Just make sure you be quick at this now. Just brush them with some egg white very quickly. Sprinkle some seeds over. There we are. Let's pop them right into the oven. It needs to be really, really hot. So off we go. I'm going to open my oven, put them in, and at this stage, you can just take a bit of water, pop it in the bottom, and close the door. We're going to bake them for about 15 minutes, and then we're going to take them out and have a look how they look. Guys, these bagels are absolutely fantastic. They've been cooking in the oven and they look so, so good. I really can't wait to tuck right into them and I'm gonna show you what I do to my bagels, the proper New York style. So perfect. That's what you want. You want them slightly brown on the bottom and a really lovely crust on the outside. That's how they should sound. I'm gonna put cream cheese on mine because I love cream cheese and smoked salmon and a really nice bagel that's got all of the trimmings. So slash it on however thick you want. I like mine quite thick. Then I go with some cucumber slices. I've got a nice bagel sandwich. And do you think I could fit that in my mouth? Oh well, let's try, shall we? Mmm. Mm-hmm. It speaks for itself because it looks perfect and it tastes perfect. So you go and make it. Follow the link in the description below. Find this video. And also subscribe to my other videos on YouTube. And I'm going to keep tucking into this. And I'll see you guys next time.